hello viewers welcome back in our previous tutorial we looked at tag creation in this lesson we will look at example of input and output of tags in in Taskida. let's get started okay so we have uh, our main here I've cleared all the example that we did in the previous one so start afresh so basically what are the digital input and outputs of the tag so we insert a data device that was going to be a switch so I'll move to the switch position and then I can select any of the switches just as we did in the last tutorial okay we can also get an indicator lights okay so we have a lamp here we have an indicator here and we would like to simulate but before then we can also draw border lines so that we can get an idea the area within which we will operate we will draw border lines Okay, so we have our border lines now. We've, we have our switch. We have our, our lamp. Okay, so when we have our switch, our lamp, the next thing to do is to create tags for them. So we can double click on this one and then we call this one, let's say, switch two. It's asking for definition. So switch to here and then we need to choose the type. Okay, because the, this one is a data unit, we need to choose a discrete. And basically in the previous tutorial, I explained why we chose the memory discrete, not the IO discrete, okay? So we select memory discrete and then we click on save. We close and then we say, okay. All right, so because we want to simulate this particular item needs to bear the name of this one just as we looked at in the previous one so double click on this one and I'll assign switch to you can type switch to directly or if you don't want to make mistakes you can double click and go into the dictionary and then select the actual tag name which is switch to okay so with this assigned to this then basically this switch should be able to control this particular lamp so we go runtime and then we see whether we are able to achieve that click ok okay so we are in the runtime mode if i turn to on position voila we have the light coming on and then back off again okay back to the development page i click on the development i'm back here i'll add another output device that's also going to be a lamp so I'll go to lights again and then choose this light panel. I can drag to resize. And then if I want to control it with this switch, the same approach, I need to assign this particular switch tag to it. So I know it's switch two. Let me double click to confirm again, switch two. Okay. So that is that. I can bring another switch for another example so i go back again and then go to switches okay so we have this particular type of switch let me use this very one you can double click on it and give it a new tag it can be my switch three and i say okay i have to define so come here specify the memory is still discrete because we are doing virtual simulation click on save i can close now and then click on ok it is done and then, then i bring in sets of uh, lamps okay 
okay then I can assign this and this is going to be my switch tray good now let me go into runtime and see how it behaves all right so when I turn this one on this becomes green this is red which indicates that this is attaining the wrong bit value I want it to be green when it's on so we will go back then and do the correction let's try that off the switch okay this one works perfectly on when I click on this it goes back off okay so we need to invert this signal so we go back into the development page and then double click on this one so we can see here that it's having a set of uh, so colors so off is green and then true which is on is red i need to change this so i'll double click double click on it and then i can change this color to green and then double click on this one sorry you click on it and then change this color to red okay with these changes we can save we can go back to runtime and see whether it took effect yes currently i switched that off position and all our lamps are showing red and when we move to on position it comes green perfect this is exactly what we now sometimes you want to add a bit of uh, animation instead of the lamp being green constantly on you would like it to blink indicating other states so let's try that and see how it goes so i'll go back and then when i click on this lamp we can see that we have enable blink so i have to click on it and then i have to specify which condition will cause this lamp to blink and it's basically when the switch is turned on so i can then specify switch to here and let's look at that of this also okay with these changes let's go on the runtime and then see so we can see that the lamp is on and then it's flashing when i go off it remains off and when i come on we can see it flashing so we can see how easy it is to cause the devices to flash using this approach okay switch it back off and then i go back to the development page all right so i double click on this one and also cause it to blink so i enable blink and then we can see we have slow blink we have medium and then fast so with this time i will want this one to flash faster and then i have to put the condition the condition is that when switch three is on then it can start flashing okay i go back to runtime and then when i turn switch three on we can see how it's flashing and when i turn this switch on you can see the rate of flashes great all right viewers we've been able to do a test an example for digital inputs in our next tutorial we'll look at analog and how to do simulation with analog input and output as well see you in the next video kindly leave comments so that we can improve on this tutorial series thank you very much see you bye bye